When you have unknown coils, sometimes you want to know on which frequency they generate. They are usable, for instance, in a radio circuit. Of course, there is no universal oscillator that can be connected to all kinds of coils and that always works. So each oscillator type uh, is made for a certain frequency band. And this oscillator here, this is the demo circuit, is made for a frequency band from approximately uh, 300 kilohertz kilocycles to 2.6 megacycles. It's a very simple circuit. And one of the important properties from a test oscillator is that it must oscillate uh, fiercely. It must be eager to oscillate. And that means that the waveform is not always so very pure. But as long as the sine wave is acceptably pure, like this for instance, we can measure the frequency properly. Too high distortion uh, measuring becomes uh, a problem. Okay, I see that my camera gives very strange blue sounds, etc. Sounds, uh, colors. So I go on with this video as fast as possible. Uh, BC547B in the collector leader is the coil under test. It's paralleled with a 82 picofarad capacitor that also adds to the frequency band, of course. And the oscillation is set with the potentiometer at the base. There's also a very small capacitor from the collector to the base, 27 picofarad, and that's also an important uh, capacitor. It makes that the whole circuit oscillates. Here the um, circuit in real. Sorry for the strange blue effects, I don't know by what they are caused. This is the coil under test at the moment. I have connected the coil from the upper lead to the lowest lead, so we have the maximum inductance, and that means 429 um, kilohertz. I move now to a higher tap on the coil. This is the highest tap. And according to the radio theory, we must go to higher frequencies now. And that's good. Uh, we measure now 1.2 megahertz. This is the waveform at the moment. I can change that waveform somewhat, the working point from the transistor. And Changing the working point somewhat also means that the frequency also changes somewhat, but that doesn't have to be a big problem. I want to connect now this coil from a computer board. I have to put, put down the camera. This coil is, has a ferrite core, a thick wire, and um, we can see on the scope this waveform generated by this coil. Again a problem with my camera. This is the, 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 the black uh, coil. It generates on 619 kilohertz. So this is a good circuit to um, do tests. And it's very easy to make.